Welcome to Golden Software's demonstration video. This video will cover creating a blanking file, often referred to as a BLN file, and then using it to blank a grid file in Server 12. It is often desired to blank a grid file for several different reasons. This may be to only show the map data within a particular area, such as contours only in your field area, or blank out certain areas, such as the area within a lake, or blank a map so that you can calculate the volume or surface area for a particular region. No matter the reason for blanking a grid, the first step is to create the BLN file which will define the boundary that you want to blank inside or outside of. There are several different methods to creating a BLN file. For this demonstration, I am going to digitize the boundary area and save the digitized data as a BLN file. For additional methods to creating a BLN file, you can view our online knowledge base article titled, How do I create a BLN file? The first step is to create a contour map. To do this, Click Map, New, Contour Map. In the Open Grid dialog, select the conifer.grd file in the Samples folder and click Open. The contour map is displayed with data for the entire area. However, let's say that you just wanted to display the contours in the center of the map. To digitize the boundary, right-click on the map and select Digitize. Notice the cursor changes to a crosshair symbol, indicating that we are in digitize mode. You can digitize the boundary by clicking on the map in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. It is important to digitize the boundary points in order and not jump from one location to the next. Notice when I click on the map, the XYZ coordinate of the point is displayed in the Digitized Coordinates dialog. As I click on the rest of the points for the boundary, notice how they are added to the Digitized Coordinates dialog. Now that I am done, I am going to copy the first set of digitized coordinates and paste them at the bottom of the list. This will make it so that the coordinate list starts and ends at exactly the same place creating a closed polygon. Now, to save the digitized points as a BLN file, click File, Save As. In the Save As dialog, use the default Save As type, which is a BLN, and click Save. Close out of the Digitized Coordinates dialog. Notice the cursor is still displaying a crosshair, which means we are still in digitized mode. To exit, press the Escape key on the keyboard. The cursor returns back to normal. The BLN file that we just created can be opened in a Surfer worksheet so that we can verify the contents. To do this, click File, Open. In the Open dialog, select Digitize.bln and click Open. The BLN file contains a header row. The first value in column A is the number of points listed below that make up the boundary. The value in column B is the blanking flag. A blanking flag equal to 1 tells Surfer to blank inside the boundary, and a 0 tells Surfer to blank outside the boundary. I want to blank outside the defined boundary, so I'm going to change the blanking flag to 0, and click File, Save to save the changes, and then close the worksheet. Another way to verify the BLN file is correct is to load it in as a base map. Although this method is optional, it is an efficient way to confirm that the BLN file is in the right format and location. To do this, in the Object Manager, select the Map object. Click Map, Add, Base Layer. In the Open dialog, select the BLN file and click Open. The polygon defined in the BLN file is overlain on the contour map. Since this looks accurate, we are going to go ahead and blank the grid file. To blank the grid file, click Grid, Blank. In the Open Grid dialog, select the conifer.grd file and click Open. In the Open dialog, select the digitize.bln file and click Open. In the Save As dialog, Enter Blanked Grid as the file name and click Save. The map is not automatically updated with the blanked grid since a new grid file was created using the grid blank command. You can create a new map with a blanked grid or update the existing map by replacing the grid. To update the existing map with a blanked grid, in the Object Manager, select the Contours layer. In the Property Manager, click the General tab. Click the Open Grid button to the right of the grid file. In the Open Grid dialog, select the blanked grid.grd file and click Open. 
You can now see that the grid is blanked outside the area defined by the BLN file. This concludes the overview of creating a BLN file and blanking a grid in Surfer 12. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Golden Software.